Hello everybody, Five Business here. Welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about a topic that came to mind. Just wanted to talk about that, and uh, I'm gonna try to make this video a little bit smaller than in my last video because I wasn't too happy with the uh, with the length of that video, like a 20 minute video. So I'm gonna try to make it a little bit shorter than shorter than that last one <clears throat> um yeah uh definitely let's just get the basics out of the way uh if you guys found this video helpful uh or if you guys like this video or found it helpful definitely leave a like comment and subscribe to this channel if you did not find this video helpful definitely definitely leave leave a like comment and subscribe to this channel and I am kind of pacing around, so you may hear some footsteps or some uh, some other ambient noise around. I apologize for the distraction. I'm not in my studio. Um, actually, I don't have a studio. Maybe you guys give me at 5 billion subscribers. Maybe I'll buy a studio. Anyway, jokes aside, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about money. Uh, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I'm just sick and tired of looking at these influencers. Um, more than one occasion, I've heard these influencers come on camera and say that, you know, people who have a 9-to-5 job, their life is miserable, you know, that they're living in a slave mindset, um, having an 8-to-5 job or a 9-to-5 job that is uh, somehow a miserable life or you know i'm sick and tired of hearing that um just because you know you got in front of a camera and got some views uh, anyway um yeah so uh, i'm gonna try to not be all over the place because obviously it's best to um stay uh, stay in the conversation it's best to keep the point in mind so uh, keeping that in mind, let's get back to our um, conversation at hand, which was obviously, uh, you know, these influencers, or I, I can't even call them influencers, to be honest. But yeah, they're going to say things like nine to five job, this, that, you know, it's, it's a miserable life. You're living in a slave mindset, get out, blah, blah, blah. But um, I have to I have to let you guys know, man, for some people working nine to five job is okay uh, so for example that guy who's working at mcdonald's okay let me backtrack again so they'll say things like hey uh, uh, like the influencers um, uh, you know they'll put they'll put the viewers down or they'll, they'll put whoever's doing a nine to five job down and they'll say what a what a slave mindset this that and um um you know, uh, your life is miserable because you're working nine to five job. So buy our product, buy our product, so we can tell you how to get out of that life, and you know you can make more money. Well, for some people, um, like for example, that guy who's working at McDonald's nine to five, right? Now when he goes to work, he's at whatever he's doing is if he's at the cashiers making food for people, he's actually serving other people. So he's actually interacting with other human beings. There's actual human interaction there. So for example, if some a customer comes in, he says hi to them, he says, hey, how are you doing? And then, you know, the guy, he says, hey, I'm doing good. How are you? How was your day? You know, he smiles at them. The customer smiles back at him. And there's actual human interaction going on there. There's actually, there, there's an actual human conversation going on. So, you know, let's say that customer is done getting his food or whatever, he leaves the, the store and maybe he was having a bad day and, and after he met that person or after he encountered with that uh, person who was working at McDonald's, he just left the store happy. He left the store happy, you know, he had a nice human interaction with somebody else where he smiled at him, the other person smiled back at him and now his day is a little bit more uplifted. So, like, actually there's there's a chance or there's, there's actually a... a um, a chance for like the McDonald's person who's working at the McDonald's to uplift other people so isn't that a better job than just sitting in front of a computer all day because these little programs that these influencers that they offer which uh, you know it's probably just sitting on a computer all day because they usually they, they say they will teach you how to make money on the internet that's how usually um, those um, 
they want you to buy their products so they will teach you how to make money on the internet and making money on the internet um i i, I i'm not 100 percent i'm not educated on those uh on those things but i'm guessing it's like replying to emails or you know checking emails or replying to emails or i don't know typing up a newsletter uh typing up an article or just clicking typing clicking typing and 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 all you're doing is just sitting in front of a box you're sitting in front of just rays of light and click 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 type 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 click 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 type 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 and that's your day you know is it is 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 that there's like no human interaction there's like nothing uh, no interaction with living things and literally you're just draining your mind and for some more money for for a little bit of extra sense uh you know you th th that's what they want to buy they want to sell their product which is just i don't know replying to emails or uh clicking some ads or um seeing if you're or, or, or picking a product and trying to sell them see uh, see if somebody likes your product um that you don't even own drop shipping i guess you don't even own the product that you're trying to sell so for some people that's not the most important thing in life for some people uh, what's more important is human interaction you know so so like um i guess working at mcdonald's working at wendy's or or wherever there's more human interaction there's you know you can smile at other humans and you can have a good conversation with them you can uplift them they can uplift you there's more to it there's more to materials in life guys there's more to materials in life so anyway um so uh, you know don't let these influencers tell you that your life is miserable because you're working nine to five and some people you know they, they, they they're happy working nine to five you know they want to work you know they want to go in the morning work and and you know work nine to five nine to three nine to two whatever they want after they're done with their day's work they want to come back home and they want to spend the rest of their time i mean if they have families they want to spend the rest of their day with the families you know if they have kids they want to like spend the time with their kids you know they want to uh, they want to spend time with their kids maybe they have you know grandmother grandfather they want to go visit them see if they want something there's you know and, and maybe they want to do some other hobbies like some actual hobbies like some people like to uh, cook you know if you're cooking uh, you know like you're actually going to consume that product that you're going to cook so it's like a healthy hobby there's some healthy hobbies some people like to get into like gardening you know you can uh, grow plants water plants you know actually living things like plants are living things you know you interact with living things so people want you know th there's more to just like oh just because somebody's not making enough money his life must be miserable you know so these type of things we gotta ignore them like i was saying in my last video uh, about the internet take the good leave the bad and um you know guys i have to kind of tell you for some people for some people money is not everything for some people money is not the most important thing in life and you may be thinking why business how come you know money money is the most important thing in life how can you say that money is not the most important thing in life um, <clears throat> well you know i'll give you guys a perfect example so for those of you who watch ufc or who used to watch ufc uh, there was a fighter his name was uh, there, there is a fighter he's still alive uh, he, he's, he doesn't fight ufc anymore excuse me so I was saying he doesn't fight UFC. He doesn't fight in the UFC anymore. But uh, his name is Habib Nurmagomedov, and uh, I'm not 100% sure in what circumstances he was asked these questions or what in what circumstances he had a he had a, this conversation with who he had it. But like I don't know if he if they were if he if they wanted to if they wanted him to fight Conor again because he did Conor by Conor I mean Conor McGregor. That's another UFC fighter. So uh, he fought. He had he had already fought him once, and I'm not sure if they wanted him to fight Conor again, or if it was after his retirement that they wanted him to return from his retirement to have another fight. But apparently, um, he was asked about getting offered a lot of money. By a lot of money, I mean hundreds of millions of dollars, and he said, "I don't need the money." That's what he said. He said, "I don't need the money." So for some people, ladies and gentlemen, money is not everything. For some people, money is not the, 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 the most important thing in life. Um, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, so for some, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to go uh, into, into my next point here. But, but I'm, what I'm trying to explain here, here is that for some people, money 
it's not everything so he said i don't need the money and then um just just recently he just had another interview uh i don't want to mention with who because i don't want to give anybody any attention um but yeah they obviously they have a nice channel and everything they brought him obviously i mean if you're gonna get habib nurmago made up on your channel you must have some kind of a platform right so um so he just had a recent interview where he was where, where he mentioned something like dana white dana white who is the president of the ufc he was he was telling uh he was telling the interviewer how dana white asked him hey why don't you ask me how much money i will pay you like why would like i guess dana white was asking habib why wouldn't why won't why won't you ask why like why won't habib ask dana white how much money is it that dana white's going to offer him for coming back after retirement and um you know it's because uh, and he answered that question in the interview obviously because he doesn't care he doesn't care about the money he doesn't he doesn't care whatever it is and and i'm not i'm not talking about those people who um just don't want to make the effort or don't want to work hard to earn more money and they will just say hey i don't care about the money so i'm not talking about those people i'm talking about really people who work hard in their lives who make gains in their lives whether it's through family through um you know different things through you know through through wealth i mean they they, they, they may i mean for example habib he's a rich guy um so like i mean they have made gains in their lives i'm talking about those people uh, you know actually people who really don't care about the money um i'll give you another random example it's a completely random example um let's say somebody is uh, you know somebody has has uh, a 20 or a 30 year experience at a at some kind of a let's say at, at a job you know in a, in, a, in a particular job let's say 30 years experience in a particular job and uh, and during those uh, years i've been walking uh, guys i've been walking almost um getting a little maybe i should sit down i don't want to be like uh huffing and puffing while talking because i want to make some real points here so i think maybe should i take a seat or else i actually know i'm a young guy i'll keep walking anyway so um what was i saying i was saying that um yeah so let's say there's a guy who's got like a 20 30 year experience um he's working and you know through those experiences what he did is he kind of moved up in his ranks and and you know started making let's say 300k a year you know that's his job so now he makes like 300k a year and then he moved states or moved countries or whatever and now he wherever he's he's at like you know at a new job at a new place that he's living at now he has to find a you know same job because that's his expertise so he's he wants to find the same job and um you know he he's looking for a job now in a job interview <clears throat> that gentleman even though for the past let's say 10 years he was making 300k a year he will let them know in the job interview that money is not the object he's just like he's just concerned about he, that's not something that he's saying in the interview but like in his mind he's concerned about keeping his mind busy he's concerned about having some kind of a continuous income but not the amount is not the matter the amount is not the point of the matter the it's just having uh you know some kind of something to keep his mind busy or having some kind of a continuous income so so he'll let him know in the interview hey uh money is not the object here so just give me the job i have this 30 years experience and i don't care about the money now for that person he doesn't know that the job hires or the people who are going to hire him they may offer him 45k now who now if somebody is getting 300k a year for like you know 10 years 15 years how is he going to accept 45k you know you would think that you can't that's impossible give me at least 200k give me at least 250k or at least half of it at 150k a year not like but like you know these people you know some of them they just don't care about the money and they're like you know they'll straight up say in the interview they'll say hey you know i don't care about the money so just hire me uh, this that and you know next thing you know they're getting hired for 45k and they're happy and because for them money is not everything ladies and gentlemen money is not it there's other things more important in life there's like other things more important in life and uh, whether it's family whether it's your values uh, it's different for different people um it's already been 15 minutes in this video i said i didn't want to make it too long so um let's kind of get to the end of it here so basically guys another thing i wanted to say was or not another thing but uh, some things related to what i'm already saying uh is that um it's you know it's 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 uh like having money it's it's like a 
or, 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 or like having possessions, having materialistic things, it's like a trick. I'm really sorry to break it to you guys, but that's what it is. Uh, for example, uh, for example, like let's say you got you, you bought a watch. Um, let's say you bought a diamond watch, or or actually you just bought a watch, and then you're like, now what? Now I want a diamond watch, and then you bought a diamond watch, and it's like, now what? Now I want a Bugatti. It's like, now what? Now I want a private jet. So so like it never ends, and like after you buy one thing, it's not like you're happy for the rest of your life. You want the next thing. So it's like, you know, if you guys are driving, like on a long drive on a hot day, if you're like driving on a, like let's say you're on a long drive on a hot day, you know, on, on, in the distance, you'll see that there's some water. Like on the road, you'll see some water. But you obviously know that's an illusion. It's not, there's no water there. And so as you get closer, closer, it, that water just keeps getting farther and farther away. Or like if you're in a desert and you're just walking in the desert, you'll see in the distance there's some water there just spread across. And, you know, you want to like try to get there. But, you know, you'll never reach there because it's not really water. It's just an illusion. And um, so it gets farther and farther away. It's kind of like that. So, you know, you buy a watch. It's like, now what? You buy a car. It's like, now what? You buy a supercar. It's like, now what? And then, you know, as humans, you know, we have this ego issues and whatever. So we start like flaunting it because we know it's not making us happy so you know you look at floyd mayweather he's got like bunch of stacks of money in his videos nothing against floyd mayweather he's gained a lot in his career he's, he's 50 and 0 or whatever great boxer um but um you know just just kind of giving an example there he's like stacking you know bunch of cash in front of a table and making a video out of it and putting it on social media what for we already know you got a lot of money man we already know you got a lot of money you don't have to show it to anybody we already know you got like you know half a million half a billion dollars in your account or whatever so so it's just that because it's not making them happy anymore and they just want to like kind of brush it off on other people and i think that's the same issue with these influencers too you know after they you know gain a little bit of views by being by just running their mouth and they get just some recognition by just running their mouth and um you know, they get some recognition, they get some views, they make some money and, you, you, you know, they just want to like flaunt it and say, you're miserable, you're living a nine to five job, you're miserable. I'm sorry, you know, you don't know anybody, you don't know what, what's important to who. So, so, you know, just, just, by the way, guys, don't get me wrong. I love fast cars and private jets. And, um, you know, I'm not saying if you're the type of person who wants to make more, more money, I'm not saying stop making more money. That's not this video. You know, if, if, if money is your value, I'm just saying keep your values close to you and work based on based on your values. If that's your thing, you know, keep doing it. If you want to buy a product from these influencers where you want to sit on the computer for 24-7, do it. But um, I just wanted to tell you, I just want to tell you guys that if you buy more if you get like if you get whatever you want if you buy more if you even get the whole world if you even get the whole like that scarface line when he says uh, when his boy asks him hey what do you want he says i want the whole world and everything in it so if even if you guys get the whole world and everything in it you still won't be happy because you will just want more peace out everybody Subscribe to the channel, definitely like, comment, and share.